In this episode, we sail to the beaches, caves and hongs of some beautiful Thai islands. In the last three and a half years, we have sailed halfway around the world on our 37-foot boat, Florence, exploring new countries, new cultures, and sharing our adventure along the way. So the team at Rolly Tasker Sails are busy making an entire new suit of sails for Florence, which we are very excited about. The lead time for that is normally about four weeks, but because we're going to be crossing the Indian Ocean soon, they're putting it through as a priority for us. So we've only got to wait two weeks. So for two weeks, what are we going to do around Phuket? Well, there's some amazingly beautiful islands just out from Phuket. So we're currently sailing out with just the Genoa to go and explore. There was absolutely no point putting that old mainsail back on because it was so weak. So we've just got the Genoa for this trip. And the old baggy spinnaker. Yeah, not the new spinnaker. Very excited about the new sails. The islands around Phuket and Krabi are known for being incredibly beautiful, but they're also known for being very busy. So we're going to try and see if we can seek out some of the quieter spots. This area is so stunning that it has been used as a film set more than once. James Bond and The Beach were both filmed near here. I think this is one of the most beautiful anchorages we have ever been to on our trip around the world. There's a few that come close, but this one's pretty special. This is a great place to chill out on the boat and watch some wildlife but we've been told of a hidden interior into the island, one that you have to pass through a hole in the rock to access. So we headed ashore to see what we could find. A tunnel on the beach leads through the cliff and into the hidden interior of the island. As we came through the archway, it just opens out into this mangrove filled area inside the island. It's really cool. I could hear them before I could see them, but all of these mangrove trees are absolutely swarming in fruit bats or flying foxes. So many of them. They're really noisy. They're all flapping their wings and I'm not sure if it's to keep cool or to keep the mosquitoes away from them. Maybe they've already got mosquito bites and they're itching them. Maybe. This is such a magical spot and surprisingly quiet. 
possibly because no films have been made on this particular island yet. We made the most of the peace and quiet before heading towards Koh Hong West, one of the biggest Hongs around here, and therefore bound to be more busy. The light winds in this area mean that the sailing is pretty slow but it's also really nice and easy. We've got flat water and light winds and for the last six months or so these are the kind of conditions that we've had apart from the occasional squall. It makes for really easy, really cruisy sailing. So this place is pretty busy. There are tourist boats all over the shop. They're really noisy, but if it's a really good place to see, you've got to expect some other people who want to see it too. So we're going to try and find a gap between the tourist boats to go and have a look inside the Hong. It's a little bit quieter at the moment, so we're just rowing in to see if we can find a gap. We normally put the engine on for a trip like this, but our engine has a bit in the dust. Yeah, unfortunately our little outboard engine for the dinghy has broken and it's been declared beyond economical repair because it's very difficult to get the parts out here in Thailand. So we're going to have to uh, bite the bullet and buy a new one of those quite a lot of expensive things to replace as we prepare Florence for the Indian Ocean crossing. It's going to have a very detrimental effect on our budget for the year when we, uh, when we do a review of that. Pretty shallow lagoon in here. It's only about, I don't know, a metre deep. Definitely too shallow to bring Florence in. used to this. I've got an easy rower for me. Sit back and relax and get rowed around. It's awesome. This is one of the biggest Hongs in the area. That sounds rude. Hong isn't rude. <laughs> it sounds rude. So this island is called Koh Hong and Hong is the name for like a lagoon or like a almost completely enclosed lake within the island we think. There are actually several places called Koh Hong, I think Koh, Koh's Island? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. A lot of the islands around here have the same name and so it's really difficult to tell where somebody's talking about and occasionally we've nearly sailed miles out of our way to go to an island which somebody's recommended but it's a totally different one. It's actually shallow enough that you can get out and walk around. It's about knee deep at the moment. On this bit anyway. It's nice and cool. Very nice and cool. This might be the last time using this spinnaker. So excited about getting our nice new one. This one's just really old. We think the same age as the boat, 35 years. And it's like stretched and blown out. The new one's gonna be a much better shape. So what do we mean when we say this sail is stretched and blown out and how does that affect its sailing? Well, because it's sort of, it become more of a bag 
so what's happening is the back edge of the sail over there is actually curled round. So where it's ballooning round there, that's where it's curling back on itself and that's actually pulling Florence in the wrong direction. Whereas the mid part and this front edge of the sail is pushing us forwards. So that back edge is actually really inefficient and the new sail will be a much smoother profile, much flatter, it won't have that curl around the back edge. So it'll be much more efficient and we should go faster. We came ashore to explore last night and we found this trail leading from the back of the beach here. So we thought we'd come and see where it goes. We don't really know where it goes. We think maybe it'll go up and over the island to the other side. Hopefully have a good look out on the way. We shall see. Must be on the right track to somewhere. Pretty well defined track, a bit overgrown in places. It's quite warm. This is why not many people do hiking around here. Just dripping with sweat. That was a very hot climb, but the views up here are stunning. fairly standard thing to do to walk up. We've seen a lot of people that have walked up from the resorts down on the far side. Haven't seen anybody that's come up from the bay where we're anchored. So I think we're gonna head on down over to the other side and I want to find an ice cream in the resorts. Amy wants to find some fresh fruit and veg because we're completely out of fresh fruit and veg. Ice cream's better. Anything that we do buy, we're gonna have to carry back up this hill and back down the other side. I'm quite happy to carry an ice cream in my belly. Very different shrubbery on this side of the ridge, completely different to on the side where Florence is. I think these are rubber trees and they're collecting the rubber in these little pots. Yeah, there's rubber. It's pretty cool. Is that natural latex? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the sound of some sort of cicadas in the trees. It's absolutely deafening. Mission accomplished. Hot work. Definitely need an ice cream. After considering the size of the hill, we decided that the best way of transporting some fruit and vegetables back was probably also in our bellies. So we sat down for a rare dinner out on the beach. What have you got there, Matt? Yeah. Mango smoothie. Very good. We've gone for a Tom Yum soup, which I've had before, but when it's made fresh, it's really, really good. There is a 60 metre long tunnel through the rock here to a small hong inside which cannot be accessed in any other way. Of course we went in to take a look. No room for the oars in here though. It's pretty cool in this tunnel. You've got the sound of the waves echoing through it. It's pretty massive, it's pretty big space. And you can see the water 
just where the cave entrance is, the sunlight just filtering through the water. It's pretty special. a magical place the way that you just come in through the cave and then it just opens up There are so many islands, caves and beaches to explore around here. It is a great place to have a boat. That video was actually filmed in early February before all the current restrictions were put into place. Our situation's actually changed a lot since then, like it has for everybody around the world. And if you want to keep more up to date with where we are at the moment, then we post as regularly as we can on our Facebook and Instagram pages. I'll put a link to those in the description below. We plan to keep on putting these videos out as we hope they provide a little escapism in the current situation. Yeah, and thank you so much for your comments and messages recently. They've been helping keep us positive in what's a really difficult time for everyone. And as ever, we want to say a special thank you to our star patrons for their support. Alan Becky, Robin Reema, Kate and Peter Adkins, Samui Yavanan and John Bowler. Thanks guys, stay safe and we will see you next time. Next time we explore under the water and get the James Bond experience.